Hope you all are doing so well. Oh God, I am so excited. But before I dive into this video, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe, like, and share. And don't forget to click on the notification bell that will enable you to know whenever I upload a new video. Please feel free, subscribe to my beautiful channel, share my videos to people so that they can see this video and subscribe, okay? Thank you so much for doing that. So without wasting much of your time, let's just dive in into today's video. I'm so excited to shoot today's video. Somebody asked me a very funny question. I'm going to be putting the question on the screen so that you can see it and also read, okay? Someone asked me, you know, few, I've been doing some Q&A, people have been asking me questions and I've been coming here to answer. So someone asked me, in one of my Q&As that I, I, I did, someone asked me, someone said, asked me about heartbreak. And I, I remember I said on that video that I've never had a heartbreak. I've never in my life had a heartbreak, okay? And I answered the person on that video. Now, the person now asked me another question. And, uh, and the question is this, how do I overcome not being hot? That's the first one. And the second one is that, does it mean that you don't love? The question is on the screen. Yeah, that's what the person asked me. He said, how do I overcome being hot? And does it mean I don't love? Because, I believe she, she, he or she is thinking that because I said I've never experienced that, maybe I don't love. Maybe I don't open my heart to love. Please let me address this issue. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so funny. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. See, my beloved sister or brother that asked this question, I'm a lover girl, okay? <laughs> oh my goodness, princess. I'm a lover girl I love. Okay, I love love, okay? See, when you are in a relationship, let me now use this as an opportunity to also address my beautiful sisters out there. When you are in a relationship, it is very important that you open your heart, your mind, and um, ask God for the spirit of discernment, okay? Ask God for the spirit of discernment. If you have a spirit of discernment, there are some things that will not happen to you, even aside relationship or whatever. In your business, in your going out, in your coming in, in you relating to people, there are things that will not happen to you. Like I always tell people, when you are in a relationship, always commit that relationship in the hands of God. Always commit that relationship in the hands of God. Don't just be in a relationship because everyone is in a relationship. Commit it into the hands of God. When things are about to happen, you will know. Don't just love, love, love and forget your, your stand and forget who you are. Do not do that. Okay? Don't do that. Don't just love, you keep loving and you forget who yourself. Like the question said, how do I overcome hurt? It's because I don't even allow the hurt to come. <laughs> I don't allow the hurt to come. If you are going out, if you're in a relationship with somebody, go with your mind. Open your heart. Be very, very, you know, watchful in that affair. Because if the relationship later ended up in both of you get coming together as husband and wife. Things you do not stop when you are still in a relationship with that person, like doing dating or cutting. You're not going to stop it when the person has, when you have finally settled with this person. You're not going to stop it. So is it not better you stop it when you are still in, in a, you know, get, getting to know each other, when you are still you know, in relationship, trying to know each other. It's better you stop it then than also going into that relationship, or when the relationship are led to marriage, you start finding faults. 
if you're in a relationship, I know you love your partner or the person loves you. If you notice anything, address it. Talk about it. Don't say, let me not say so that he will be angry or he will go and look for another person. But if he truly loves you, he will stay with you. If he wants to go and look for another person, let him go and look for another person. Then you know he, he doesn't want, he doesn't, you, he, he's not the person that God has ordained for you. If you see a sign in a relationship and it's not working, and that is, and you know, that sign, just like, just like people that hit each other in a relationship. So this person said, her husband hit her, or this person made you depressed and all the other stuff. It did not start in marriage. It started when you were in a relationship. So if you see that trace, if you're a guy, I'm not just talking about women, only women. If you're a guy and you see that the lady you're, going, you're talking to has a trace of something that is not, that is not nice, take a walk. It is not by force. If you are a lady and you notice that this guy, let's say, I know one thing about ladies is that if, if they notice that the guy has money or the guy is caring, they, you, they overlook the fault of that person. And they say, I, if, since he has this, he has that, I can actually manage. See, you cannot manage. Okay? You cannot manage. When the relationship, when it's not working, if you, if you see what you don't like, just take a walk. Always be the first to, to walk away. My beautiful ladies, if you don't want to be hot as a lady, be the first to walk away. You know when people start crying, they have heartbreak, this person break their heart, it's because they allow the other person to break their, to hurt them. So if you, are, if you as a lady, <laughs> if you as a lady, you are the first to walk out, it will not hurt you. You know, guys are always first to walk out. And if, they are, if you walk out first, it hurts them the more. You know, some of these men, what they dish out, they can't have it. What they dish out, they cannot have it. So if, if you're the first to walk, it's not going to do you anything. That is that. Always be the first to walk. Walk away, okay? And the second one is, does it mean I don't love? Oh my goodness. Look at me now. Look at, just look at me. Am I not love like this? I'm just, I'm love. As you're looking at me, I'm love. I love. But it's just that I love with my head, my eyes, my mind. Physically, spiritually, I don't want to go to, back to spiritual aspect of things. I love with everything. So when I want to leave, I walk away like that too. Okay? That's if I am single. I don't know if I'm, I don't, I'm not talking about that. Okay? So when I want to walk, I walk away. Have the spirit of discernment so that when things wants to happen, you will always know before they happen. You don't sit down there and things now come and overshadow you. Then you start talking and complaining. And when you, you have seen a lot of things that would have just made you to take a walk, and you refuse to take a walk. Always ask God for the spirit of discernment to, to know when things are about to happen. So that if they happen, it doesn't hurt you. Alright? I think I've answered your question now. <laughs> so guys, I will be stopping here. You take good care of yourself. And have a beautiful and a lovely day. Bye-bye.